Hello world, lock picking dev. Today I have a Kryptonite 851-110. It is six pins, full security pins. We are at Rainier National Park. Let's see if we can pop this sucker open real quick, show you around, and get home and show you what's inside. I'm gonna stick the pick in the back here. A little bit of click on five. There we go. Oh, there's our open right there. That was quick as hell. So this is a kryptonite. It is full security pins. It should not have opened that quick. But let me show you why it opened that quick. And so you'd see this kind of key right here. You'd think, oh, that's good bidding because it's got some high lows, high lows. But those lows, they're all already at the shear line. So when I stuck my pick in, I didn't really have to pick those. I had to pick three and I had to pick five there, but not really anything else. But yeah, here is our kryptonite, 851-110. Let me pick you up and show you around real quick. Oh, sorry, I dropped you there. We are at Rainier National Park. We're right by some falls here that this goes into. Let's see, this drops right down here to these falls right here, and that's normally Myrtle Falls right here. I've done a video here already. It's gorgeous in the winter down there. And yeah, here's a nice little stream by Mount Rainier. And when I get home, I will take that kryptonite and got it for you. I got a couple more kryptonites loaded right up and ready for the next couple videos. And uh, I'll show you what they're all about. All right, see you soon. All right, I'm back home and I decided that since that did take so little time to open that I'm gonna go ahead and pick it again because it just, it felt wrong. You know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And truthfully, I did practice picking this several times beforehand that day. So I know that there's an order to this and I know that I only have to pick those couple pins. But another thing that could have happened is that those pins too, I could have just accidentally hit them and bumped them just when I stuck my pick in because they're so low. But anyways, let's let's do it again real quick. Felt like three. Four. One, three, so make sure I'm getting all the way back there. Here we go. There's the rest of three. Little freaking gnat. One does feel set. So yeah, it's definitely taking longer this time. So that could have just been a fluke and I was really feeling it that day and I just happened to hit those pins just right. So you know, anyway, let's go ahead and reset and try again. Sometimes when you're getting too heavy into it, it's better off just resetting. There you go, I just stick in the pick and I already feel I set some pins because they're so low. Three. Oh, 
There's two. Nice big turn there. So we almost got it. So you get resetting and going back at it was the thing to do here. There we go. There's our open. So yeah. <clears throat> of course, every lock has its own, you know, order of pins that it will go into open. We can see that this one definitely made a difference um, in knowing it beforehand. But what made an even better difference was all this low penning right here. So I believe half of those, like I said, just even the first time sticking my pick in, I felt a whole bunch of pins set just sticking the pick right in there. So um, let's go ahead and gut this. Yay, I'm gonna have to replace the bolt. That's all right. Is it loose? Yeah, I think it is. There we go, cool. Yeah, bolt is stripped, that's all right. Can replace that later. And let's get our follower here. Tweezers. So perfect. There we go. And follower. There we go. One, two, three, four. Five, six. All the key pins are serrated. And looks like the first one is steel. So it might be an anti drill pin there. Same with the driver. Here we are. Let's get that to focus there. There we go. So you can see along the top there, they're all spools. And like I said, yeah, the um, the driver pin and the key pin, the first uh, chamber in general is just all steel. So anti-drill on it, which is pretty cool. You don't see that too often. And then um, the spools look on the ends they look a little rounded on the edges of them so not quite sharp i'm not sure if i can get that to get a picture of that there they do look a little rounded you can almost see the glimmer of light come off it right there off the edge because it's not sharp so that's a little interesting as well yeah but uh yeah otherwise yeah serrated key pins six pins um security you can see they actually uh Put a little bit of security in this one. I do like that. So it's got the uh, the the raised shackle protector there, and also the steel pins right there in chamber one. All right, everyone. This was uh, Kryptonite eight five one 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 zero, and that was uh, Mount Rainier National Park. And once again, here's our bidding. Six pins. These are fun locks. All of them I picked have been really fun locks. Quickly, before I go, I wanted to show everybody what I meant by um, not having to lift some of the pins, uh, what I was talking about on the trail there. And so, yeah, it looks like I'm right. So, pin four and pin six, you can see that they're almost no lift. So, the key's not in there, and they're almost to shear already. And so, even with the key in, everything to shear. Without the key in, those are almost to shear. So, if you think about it, when I came in, all I had to do, I could barely bump six, lift that, lift this one right here, pin three, because it's also kind of high there. 
and then pin one and two, I probably just lifted with the shaft of my pick. So yeah, uh, very possible. And uh, that can happen sometimes. Uh, I practiced a lot that day and you know, just shit happens. But I wanted to show what I was talking about the show that uh, I wasn't, wasn't bullshitting and I wanted to pick it again <laughs> to show that as well. That sometimes just the bidding itself can turn something that has some decent security and that does something not so secure. Alright, thanks for watching.